Hi, Melissa. How are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm so happy to see you and meet you. It's an honor for us. Thank you so much. Happy to meet all of you too. Yes. So please forgive me. I kind of entered, I think, at a conversation that was already in progress, but I would love to learn more about so, you. Um, I just have some friends that um, I kind of witnessed them, like they're practiced their religion, Islam, and then I kind of became very interested in it. And um, so I just, they gave me the resources to like reach out to you guys um, and to kind of like move forward on. Yeah, I'm very shy. So. Oh, that's okay. no, 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 thank you. So if you don't mind, I would love if, if that's okay. I don't know how much Edlin or Munir have already kind of prompted you or asked certain questions. But when we do this process, right, of uh, someone entering Islam, it's very simple, by the way. I don't know how much you know, but like, honestly, becoming Muslim is probably one of the easiest things you could do. You just have to say a phrase. like uh, two yeah. yeah, I did read um, a little bit. I was doing a little bit of research. Um, and I do see that um, you guys kind of like, rephrase it for us because it's in Arabic so it's yes like, yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. Like it's easy for us to kind of like say it and um, exactly so the the way that the 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 what we'll do is I'll kind of just give you a summary of how the process is okay um just so you know what to expect so initially I we do kind of like to just ask questions like about your background your knowledge about Islam you kind of just su summarize that you've studied a little bit because a friends gave you resources but I would like to ask specific questions for example uh what what was your previous faith or did you have one and and then we would kind of have a conversation like about specific things things um, related to that, right? Just to, again, make sure that you're clear on what the creed of a Muslim is, like what, what the beliefs are of a Muslim so that there's no conflict. And if, if you fully 100% accept and you're ready to take the next step of coming into Islam, I mean, we are so happy and honored again to facilitate that for you. And the actual process is just literally, I'll say a phrase very slowly in Arabic, and you will repeat after me word by word. And then I'll give you the English translation. And at that point, you are a Muslim. And uh, and then Sister Edelin, she can then, from that point forward, give you more of the specifics. Like, now that you're a Muslim, what do you? What should you learn? And how should you pace yourself? Like, what's priority first, right? Do you, do you have to, because a lot of women, especially when they become Muslim, they suddenly worry about having to look a certain way. And so they want to wear hijab. But we would say, you know, let's, let, there's other things, you know, that will come. And there's no rush. We literally go at your pace. And, you know, I just like to always emphasize that Islam came in 23 years. You know, when you study Prophet Muhammad's life, the whole faith was completed over that period of time because we have to, as human beings, be, you know, like there's it's a process. You know, you can't just transform overnight. But the faith, uh, if it's in your heart, that's all you need. Then the changes that you're going to make are more practical day-to-day -day changes. Like tomorrow's, you know, going to be Ramadan. Okay, what does that mean, right? So those are the things that Sister Adeline can talk to you about. But uh, so if you don't mind, I would love to just uh, that first question that I asked you, w did you have a previous faith? Uh, and what was that? Um, it was Catholic, but um, we didn't really like, um, I don't know how to say like, it wasn't Holy really, practice. yeah, practice it. Um, mm -hmm. And then like I said, like, so me having friends that really practice Islam and watching them kind of like made me want to follow and like believe in a, that's so religion. sweet. So that's, that's why I wanted to pursue to Islam. Okay, that's wonderful. Well, Sister Edelin, I'm sure she may have told you, but she also had a Catholic background. A lot of the converts that we've found, and I've actually done a few different shahadas, also had a Catholic background. And I think the what I've observed is there's a lot of similarities. If you if you knew anything about your Catholic faith in terms of ritual and tradition, respect and reverence, there's a lot of uh, prayers that that people I think feel just very comfortable. But then obviously the biggest uh, difference that we just want to point out is the role of Jesus and 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 also Mary I would say because both of them are very central figures in Catholicism right Mary being the mother of Jesus and there are divinity uh, or there is divinity ascribed to uh, you know Jesus in terms of him being the son of God so those are things that we always want to clarify that you understand fully that in Islam we are in very, very strict monotheists, which means God has no partners whatsoever. And prophets uh, are are human beings that are given specific roles, but we do not 
worship prophets. We don't worship anybody but God, but even God. Prophet Muhammad. Yes. Okay. So that's clear for you. Yeah. Okay. Great. And I did then, uh, your research. Yes. Yes. No. I'm. I'm totally. I'm sure you know all of this. It's more for us because you know, as an organization too, we want to make sure that we do our part to clarify all of this stuff. But I'm. I'm sure if you've studied it, this is pretty clear that yeah, we don't worship any anyone else. So thank you for clarifying. And then um, so and you accept fully that. God is one and that Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger. Yes? Perfect. Then that's all really that. And I'm sure, like I said, all the other stuff as far as the five pillars and the articles of faith, the fact that we believe it in a heaven and hell, we believe in an unseen world. These are all just central uh, parts of the belief of a Muslim. But if you've studied and you've read, then you know that. So what we can do now is we can do the actual process of you taking your Shahada, uh, inshallah, which is, again, very simple. It's just I will recite the Arabic and you can go. We'll go kind of like, you know, like a, it's like a dance kind of I'm doing it and then you do it and then you do, you know, so we'll do it that way. And I'm not rushing you at all. So just feel free if it's like not clear. Can you repeat that? OK, okay. Well, I'll try to be I have my mic really close here. So I'm going to speak as clearly as I can. Go ahead and apologize in case I might wordiness not correct <laughs> oh no worries don't worry it at all i i'll like i said that's why we try to do a very phonetic so that it doesn't don't worry and hopefully it won't be intimidating to you okay. all right all right so we start with saying in the name of god which is bismillah okay so i'm gonna that's what i'm saying bismillah which just means in the name of god and now we'll actually do the shahada which begins ash ash hadu hadu an an la la Ilaha, ilaha, il Allah, il Allah, wa, wa, ash, ash, hadu, hadu, anna, anna, Muhammadan, Muhammadan, Rasul, Rasul, Allah, Allah. Very good. That was one time. Now we're going to do it two more times, just like that. Okay. Ash. Ash, Hadu, Hadu, An, An, La, La, Ilaha, Ilaha, Il Allah, Il Allah, Wa, Wa, Ash, Ash, Hadu, Hadu, Anna, Anna, Muhammadan, Muhammadan, Rasul, Rasul, Allah, Allah. Very good. And one more time. Okay. Ash. Ash. Hadu. Hadu. An. An. La. La. Ilaha. Ilaha. Il. Il. Allah. Allah. Wa. Wa. Ash. Ash. Hadu. Hadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasul. Rasul. Allah. Allah. That's it. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> so you are now officially a Muslim, Sister Melissa. Welcome to the Ummah of, uh, of, of Islam. We're so happy. If you were with us, we would hug you. You might find that awkward, but... <laughs> Yes, air hug. hug, Exactly. (laughs) But what did we just say? All you said was, "I testify that there is no god but God or Allah," and I testify that Muhammad is the last, final messenger of God. That's all what was said. So once you declare that publicly in front of witnesses and you believe it in your heart, uh, you are officially Muslim, but you were Muslim before you met with us today because you believed it. So this is just ceremonial, but we're so honored. Thank you so much. Again, I wish we could uh, come through the phone and hug you properly. Um, But it's a beautiful gift. You know, there's a saying of the Prophet Muhammad that says that everything has keys, right? And the keys of paradise is the words that we just shared so you gave us the keys we gave you the keys and this is just (laughs) it's just an exchange inshallah uh, god willing that we are we will all be together inshallah in paradise in the next life and here uh, as a family of of muslim brothers and sisters so welcome to the faith of islam thank you you're very very welcome so honored you and thank you so much for the honor of giving us this opportunity thank you i appreciate all of you guys thanks you're very welcome